A circle by definition is set of all points in the xy plane that are fixed distance r from a fixed point hk, where radius is given by r and the center is given by our variable hk or ordered pair hk. And this is our circle and on the xy plane the center is represented by the variable hk and our radius is r and this is the standard equation of the circle that we are going to use today so we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared now remember a circle is a conic section because given a conic section if you have a plane passing through the conic section horizontally it will form a circle that is being cut through by the plane in your conic section. Now in your xy plane or the xy axis, the center looks something like this. And this particular set um, circle has a radius of 4 because if you will notice, with the center at the point of origin, you have a radius of 4 which is basically the distance from the center to the four points that will help us form our circle. Now let's have our first example in analyzing a circle in a conic section. Now for our first example, we have to graph the circle given its standard equation. Now the standard equation of the circle is x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equal to 16. Now the first step is to find the center and the radius from the standard equation of your circle. Now we know that this is the standard equation of your circle, so f finding the center, which is basically h and k, is just looking at the given equation. We have 1 and negative 3, therefore our center is at negative 1 and positive 3. With our radius as r squared, given by 16, r squared is equal to 16, therefore the radius is plus or minus 4. So we now have our center and we also have our radius. Now we're ready to graph our circle. So this will be our circle given that you're supposed to plot your center first so that you can have the other four points that will help us graph the circle. So we have the center at negative 1 and 3. Now we have a radius of 4, so all you need to do is to count 4 units to the left 4 units to the right, 4 units going up, and 4 units going down from the center, and you will have your circle that you can form by using the 4 points. So given by the equation x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equal to 16, this is the graph of our circle by using the center and the radius to form a circle. On our second example, let's write the equation of the circle given its parts. And in this particular problem, the parts that are given is a point that lies on the circle and its center at negative 5, 0. So the first step with this problem is to find the radius. Because we are given the center, we need to find the radius to complete our equation. So given the standard equation of the circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared, all we need to do is to replace x and y, because we are given a point, by negative 6 and 4, and replace h and k by the center, which is negative 5 and 0. So by direct substitution, we'll have negative 6 plus 5 squared plus 4 minus 0 squared equal to r squared based from the problem. Now, to solve our radius, just simplify the equation and you'll have negative 1 squared plus 4 squared equal to r squared, which gives us 1 plus 16 equal to r squared. Now the square root of r squared will give us 17, or r squared is, will give us 17, which we will use in our standard equation of the circle. Now the second step will be to write the standard equation of the circle, given that we know that the center is at hk and r squared is equal to 17. So by direct substitution, the standard equation of your center will be x plus 5 squared plus y minus 0 squared equal to 17, which you can further simplify by x plus 5 squared plus y squared equal to 17. And this is how we write the standard equation of the circle given a point and a center. 
Now for example number three, we now have the general equation of the circle and we are asked to find its center and radius. Now just like the previous example, we are going to use the general form in finding the standard equation of the center using the completing the square method. So the first step is to group your x's and y's together and put your constant on the other side of your equation. So you'll have x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 8y equal to 5. Now the next step is to observe if there is a leading coefficient that is more than 1 in each of your parentheses. Otherwise, if it's just a leading coefficient of 1, we are ready to complete the square. And for this example, our x squared has a leading coefficient of 1 and y squared has a leading coefficient of 1. So now we can do our completing the square. And to complete the square, we just need to find the third term of our binomial so that we'll have a perfect square trinomial. And by doing so, all we need to do is to take half of the middle term and square it. And half of the middle term is equal to 2 and 2 squared is 4 and that will be the number that we will add in our first parentheses which will also be added in your um, right hand side. And on the second parentheses half of 8 is 4 and 4 squared is 16 and that will be the number that will complete our square and it will also be added on the right hand side of your equation. So now that we have a perfect square trinomial for both parentheses we are now ready to factor out the equation so we'll have the standard equation of the cent um, the circle. So it'll give us x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared equal to 25. And now that we have the standard equation of a circle, we can answer the question on example number 3 which is finding its center and the radius by the standard equation of your circle. So we know that the center is at hk, so it's basically negative 2 and positive 4 from the standard equation and for the center it is simply positive 2 and negative 4 and for our radius which is given by r squared equal to 25 take square root of your r squared so you'll have r is equal to 5 and this is our center and our radius given the general equation of your circle.